Luke chapter 1 and verse 26. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. The angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. Now Jesus means Jehovah the Saviour, or the salvation of Jehovah. You see, the Lord has provided salvation. We cannot get to heaven by any man-made religion. They're absolutely useless and worse than useless. They're taking thousands and millions of people down to hell. You see, all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags in the sight of the Lord. He's not interested in my friend. He's only interested in the perfect work of his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, upon the cross of Calvary. Praise the Lord. Thanks for the encouragement. So, yes, we need to understand, because we're sinners, we're heading down to hell, and God does not want that for you. And that's why the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is He your Saviour? You need to make Him your Saviour personally. Without Him, we're dead in our trespasses and in our sins, heading down to hell because our sins have not been forgiven. If that's your case, I hope it's not, but that's why I'm here. That you will come to know Christ as your Saviour. Yes, the Lord Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. I'm here to tell you that. There's no, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, but it is the power of God under salvation to everyone that believeth. And that's what you need to do. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to put your faith in Christ. If you don't, you'll be on your way to hell. It, it's still. You see, when we're born in this world, we're born as default on the way down to hell on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction. The highway to hell, if you like. We need to get off that highway. We need to get onto the narrow road that leads to heaven by means of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ said in John 10 verse 9, I am the door. Not a door, I am the door. He's the exclusive way to heaven. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. This is what God wants for you this morning, my friend, that you would be saved. This is why I'm here. I'm concerned about your soul that leaves your body at the moment of death. We don't just die like a dog and we're finished, we're done. We have an eternal spirit and soul that leaves our body at the moment of death. What about you? Are you ready to meet God? The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. God is angry with the wicked every day and yet he wants to save your soul. He showed his love, he demonstrated his love by sending his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to be crucified upon the cross of Calvary. And we're looking at that now, we're looking, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth the son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And on his kingdom there shall be no end. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ has an eternal kingdom. And that kingdom will come. He'll be seen as King of kings and Lord of lords. Unto him every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that you've got to come to know this morning. Without Him, we're dead in our trespasses and in our sins. Heading down to hell because our sins, as I've said before, have not been forgiven. Now, if your sins haven't been forgiven, I'm here to bring good news unto you concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. This one that was born of Mary, who is, was a virgin. Now, that had to be. Why did that have to be? Because the Lord Jesus Christ is absolutely perfect, absolutely without sin, my friend. You and I have been born of a man and a woman. We are tainted by sin. We have the sinful nature that causes us to want to go our own way, do our own thing, disobey the Lord, and finish up in hell. But God does not want us to finish up in hell. He wants us to be saved. 
And that's why I'm here this morning. I'm bringing you the message of salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and he shall, and all his kingdom, there shall be no end. Praise the Lord for the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who is called Valor. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Do you like something to read? Have a great day. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste, into the city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. So this was this was lovely, wasn't it? You know, you see the the voice of Mary. Uh, you know, bringing that uh, salutation to her cousin Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, obviously, had John the Baptist in her womb. And this was promised of God. Although she was barren, although Elizabeth couldn't have children, she was too old or no, she was barren, she couldn't have children. And the Lord had said to her, Thou shalt conceive in thy womb. And so now John, John rejoiced at the voice of the mother of the Lord Jesus. Why? Because John knew that the Lord Jesus Christ was in his presence. He was in the very presence of the creator of the universe. You see, the Lord Jesus Christ not only is the saviour and he wants to be your saviour today, he's absolutely created of all things. God created all things by Jesus Christ. Thanks for the encouragement, brother. Yes, so the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that wants to be your saviour, my friend. I'm here to tell you that there's hope and eternal life found in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't drive past and say, I don't care. She'll be right, mate, it's all good. Because it's not. We're heading down to hell by default. God wants you to be in heaven. The only way you can be in heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. And for all the Roman Catholics out here, we need to understand, Mary needed a saviour too. And so we're all in the same boat. We all need a saviour. And it's Christ Jesus the Lord, the one who came down from heaven to live the perfect life upon earth that you and I could never ever live and fulfil the commandments to the letter. Nothing out of place. In in thought, word and deed, the Lord Jesus Christ is perfect. There's no one like him, my friend. And I want to commend him unto you this morning that you would come to faith in him, that you would put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God so that you can enter into heaven. You see, we cannot be in heaven with sin upon us. If our sins have not been forgiven, we'll never ever make it to heaven. The only way we can be in heaven is through the Lord Jesus Christ. His precious blood was shed on the cross. In whom we have redemption. Through his blood, even, the forgiveness of sins. Yes, so Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. I wonder, is he your Saviour? You need to make him yours personally. Yes, I've come to know him as my Saviour, but what about you? I'm concerned about you, and that's why I'm here this morning to bring you the message of hope and salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. He can be your Saviour too. And that's why I'm here. 
I'm concerned about your soul that leaves your body, as I said at the moment of death. We're all in big trouble with God Almighty because of our sin. You and I need salvation, we need forgiveness for those sins. And the only way is through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified upon the cross and was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Yeah, so it says here, For he hath regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done uh, to me great things, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He has showed strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of low degree. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich hath, he hath sent away, uh, empty away. He hath opened his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months, and returned to her own house. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son, and her neighbours uh, and her cousins heard how the Lord had showed great mercy upon her, and they rejoiced with her. And it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father. And his mother answered and said, Not so, but he shall be called John. And they said unto her, There is none of thy kindred, in other words, thy relations, that is called by this name. And they made signs to his father how he would have him called. And he asked for a writing table, and wrote, saying, His name is John. And they marveled all. And his mouth was opened immediately. Remember, he was struck with dumbness because he didn't believe the Lord concerning uh, they would have a child, and his tongue loosed, and he spake and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt round about them, and all these things were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of Judea, and all they that heard them laid up in their laid them up in their hearts, saying, What manner, what sort of child shall this be? And the hand of the Lord was with him. That is, the hand of the Lord was with John the Baptist. A voice in the, in the wilderness crying, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, this is John the Baptist, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord uh, to... Yeah, thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission or the forgiveness of their sins. I wonder, have your sins been forgiven? They can be. Through the precious blood of Jesus Christ, my friend, You've got to come to Christ to be saved. What you need to do is this. Come in repentance toward God. That's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. This is what God wants for you and for me. That our soul will be saved that we'll be brought on our way to heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people, my friend. The only way he can prepare for heaven is by coming to Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ has made the way of escape. Through his once for all sacrifice on the cross of Calvary, 
is to give knowledge of salvation unto his people uh, by the remission or the forgiveness of their sins. I said, have your sins been forgiven? You need that forgiveness for your sins, otherwise you'll die and go down to hell. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew, this is John the Baptist, and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Here's the man that was paving the way for the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I said, uh, as I preached about a quarter of an hour ago, down at Tidgen Park, I was saying that the, uh, John the Baptist said that, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. That's John 1 verse 29. And I want to point you to the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. He is the focus. He's the one I want to focus on to bring your attention to the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's the only Saviour. Praise the Lord. Thank the encouragement. So, you know, you and I have a need. We have a need of salvation. We have a need of forgiveness for our sins. And that forgiveness is only possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ said, Search the Scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me, and you will not come to me that you might have life. So life is found in a person. It's not in a man-made religion, my friend. As I said, man-made religion will take us down to hell. No matter how many generations have uh, persisted in a certain denomination, certain religion, if you don't have Christ, you don't have anything. I'm here to tell you that he that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not, hath not life. So we need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Put your faith in Christ and you'll never regret it, my friend. You'll have a home in heaven, you'll have peace with God, you'll have satisfaction in this life. And you'll have a shepherd, a shepherd for your soul. You see, we are not the sheep of God until we've been born again. We need to become a sheep in God's family, so to speak. So the Lord Jesus Christ can be your shepherd. He can guide you through this life, through the thick and thin, ups and downs of life. I wonder, are you going through this life on your own? Struggling. You know, struggling. If you come to Christ... I'm not saying you won't have struggles, but the Lord Jesus Christ will be with you every step of the way and he'll help you along the way. But that's not the main issue. The main issue is salvation. That you might be saved. That you might come to know Jesus Christ as your Saviour so that he won't be your judge. It's either one or the other, my friend. Very simple. Salvation or damnation. Will you come to Christ this morning? Will you believe on him? Will you put your faith in Him, rely upon Him, cling to Him for your eternal salvation? For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. Remember, for the wages of sin is death. That's what we deserve. We're working for that. We deserve it. That's the bad news. But the good news is this. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Our Lord, come to Christ this morning. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. In whom we have redemption, through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.